Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We are going to be taking on potentially the last round of uh, what town is this? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, Griggin Belt or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it might be this one or it might be there's one more after this, but either way, things are getting spicy. They're getting tough. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's put Salem a little bit closer. Definitely, uh, Elise is like perfect at the corners because then she can, you know, get the most out of her abilities, but we'll put Salem a little bit closer in. We'll see how this is going. We can always pivot if need be. Um... So yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm not, uh, uh oh, what is this? Uh oh. Okay, is, is that a boss? Oh no. I knew those eggs were gonna turn into something bad. We're very close to breaking the seal. Don't let these harpies ruin everything. Okay. That's not good. Be careful during a boss night, enemies will spawn indefinitely. The night only ends when the boss is defeated. A boss night has multiple multiple phases and the night progress indicator will show how close you are to defeating the boss. Oh no. Um so we have a lot of ground to cover if we want to kill these Illyrians, and I'm assuming we're going to have to if we want to fight the boss themselves. Unfortunately, I can't already can't reach with Jess. So this is a nightmare. <laughs> it's just like already. Um, we can probably reach with Alicia. Alicia is going to be very helpful in this situation. So we're going to move her as far as we can. Ah, just barely not enough for a power shot. But can we... We can't even reach with, uh, like, these guys with a rain of arrows. So we'll just have to use her to fight this harpy. Okay, that's one dead. Um, we're moving her just as close as possible to kind of create a choke point and then we're going to brace her because she can't really do anything else useful this round now the one i'm worried about is actually rigoberto rigoberto is up against quite a lot over here and i won't say he's not prepared but certainly uh i don't think he's good just on his own um and these guys can fly and i think they can fly into the city so that isn't good. Now Salem. Salem is not dissimilar to Rigoberto, except that he is actually worse than Rigoberto because he's not as leveled up. Um, this is going to be quite the challenge. Let's move him up a little bit. And I guess we'll have him use some magic missiles. I'll try be and be a little bit sparing on that. Um. Yeah, that's. I think the most I can do, really. Okay, the. She's coming in. Cover your head. She's coming down any moment now. That's good in a way because maybe we can do some damage to the boss. She isn't here yet, so that's a problem. Rigoberto, you're going to be able to do some damage to this uh, Illyrian, maybe, hopefully. I'm actually very concerned about this splitter because he's got a lot of health. Let's uh, start doing some stuff here first. We'll do... We'll, we'll set some stuff up. Oh, we're going to have to move. Isn't that, isn't that the worst? 
Hopefully we don't kill anyone. Ah, oh, we killed someone. I figured he wasn't going to be able to kill the splitter, so we're going to have to use up a point to kill, to, to finish him off, and then we'll use another point to finish that other claw off. We are, I think we're making some progress. I'm not sure in what form. Um, good to be here. We can like try and uh, stun some of these lads to, to create choke points. We definitely want to kill these harpies. And I, I figured it, oh my God, three action points to kill one of them. Uh, that's fine. We'll move her back and then we'll just like give her some armor. Um, we can at least weaken these guys a little bit. Reign of Era is really showing it's like... I don't know. It, it, it's not being helpful lately. Okay, that's a good one. There we go. That was actually really good. And maybe we can kill that guy? Nice. And uh, one more? Well, we'll do some damage to this guy. Actually, that only hit his armor, so it didn't do anything for us. Okay, uh, now Rigobert. No, Salem. Salem, I am worried for them. Let's uh, prioritize doing a bit of damage to the, the ranger and the, the big lad. Um, and we'll do this same thing again. And then use a point to kill that guy. And we'll just move them back. I think they should be able to handle this, but I'm a little bit worried. Uh, everyone has used up their action points, so we're good. Now, we should be seeing the boss. Ah, uh, you know what? That is the worst place for the Banshee to come in. Not Banshee, sorry. Um, Harpy. Alright, so we got more Harpies spawning in. Oh, great. Oh my god. Um, well, I definitely can't reach, get to this harpy uh, with anyone other than basically my weakest dude. I'll run over, but I don't think it's, it's going to happen. Okay, now I'm going to run over here. It's not a great idea, but I have to create some kind of choke point. So I'm going to stun them. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have the movement points to get back, but at least we can get back a little bit. But I think if I kill this lad, yeah, I gain some movement points back. And if I go over here and kill this lad, if I kill this lad, Okay, we'll get we'll get some more and then we can move her back there. So then these guys are going to move over here a little bit. And in this way, Jess can actually like kind of hold back the tide a little bit. In the meantime, we can do some stuff with. Uh, what's her face? Alicia. Oh my God, you cannot afford to miss. I've said this. Okay, so she's... Alicia's done. Uh, here's the part that really sucks. I mean, we could throw an entire magic missile at the Harpy. The Harpy is... They've got 1,700 health. So that means we would have to throw 17 of these magic missiles at them. That's actually not 
terrible because we can do two magic missiles per turn sorry eight magic missiles per turn right because it's we're doing four each so we go one two three four assuming we don't miss right and also assuming that we like i'm not accounting for armor really at all so we are doing something right we are actually doing not terrible damage to it i actually feel like maybe uh increasing our armor might be a good idea how much armor does he have 70 so if we brace him and then move him kind of like in the way uh of this guy it might be a good idea i don't know we're, we're at the stage of the game where we're using our own our, our heroes as like blockers <laughs> okay uh now i really do fear for rigoberto here that's they're they're not they're not okay uh, we definitely want to prioritize these lads hopefully we don't kill any of them nice that was actually perfect now we will kill them okay the miss was really not welcomed so why don't we just use a bash actually we'll use a, a punch to take this guy out we'll use a bash on this guy a <laughs> miss great um, definitely want to kill this guy with a sword of Demaclus. I'm just not going to commit to any naming conventions. Uh, so that's going to be it. I'm pretty sure we're done. We'll see how much the, the harpy is going to do. Fortunately, the harpy... Oh, I see. The harpy has buffed. Has buffed um, some of the basic mooks. All right, so uh, Rigoberto is taking actual damage. Um, kind of feel like, like if this is the last night, it doesn't really matter if anyone dies, right? Because we're when we get to the next town, we're going to be using uh, getting new heroes. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I should definitely prioritize hitting the boss as much as possible. If I can kill the Harpy this turn, I think I would like to do that. Um, they have 196. We don't have enough to take them out. But can we reach them with Alicia? Probably not. Yeah, not even close. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here... I am actually, I'm going to move back. We're going to do another stomp. That didn't actually, okay. It did stun that guy, which will help a little bit. Can I kill this lad, please? Yes, that was actually great. Um, Jess is not doing as much as she could. We're not seeing the full potential of Jess. Uh, power shot on this harpy. The fact that the harpy is right there is actually really nice for us. Um, tight volley. We'll have to use a tight volley. We're going to have to use everything. This is a great tight volley. That's not terrible. Can we do better? I don't think we can do better. So we're getting five with this rain of arrows. We want to kill that lad if we possibly can. Oh, that was our last action point. Okay. Um, Rigoberto is in like obscene danger. <laughs> can we kill that harpy? Hit that uh, shield, that blocker. And I guess just like hit some as many mooks as possible magic vortex i got an achievement did i miss the the harpy oh, god that sucks
I missed again. Maybe I should have gone for some accuracy. Okay, we got an extra action point on that. So that's good. Um, we'll use a bash. At the very least, we'll do some extra damage with our free offhand. And I guess we can hit... Let me just punch someone. Why not? Yeah. And I think we should back up and then use our last action point on bracing ourselves. Really a dang shame we can't kill uh, this harpy over here. If we could even like run over and punch it, that would be ideal. I'm going to back up actually because I can't brace. He's only got 70 health. They can for sure blow through that given enough of, of, of enough numbers uh so the only one who didn't use the most of her tur their turn was uh jess we'll go ahead and brace her at least i very much appreciate that the harpy is like wasting their uh turns Okay, uh, let's focus for now on killing this harpy. I really hope I... Yeah, I'm, I'm just barely within range. So they only have... An, uh, I think, honestly, two magic missiles will be enough. I don't want to overuse if I can help it. Yeah. So they're dead. Your bones will feed the dogs. And I'm going to focus um, primarily... Wow, I, I don't have line of sight on this guy that's pointed away from me right in front of me. That seems wildly unfair, but okay. Um, I don't have any movement. I have some sort of Demac... I can't, I can't even sort of Demac list this guy. Oh my god. Let's just, uh, brace. Okay, this scenario over here is starting to look a little bit dire. I'm kind of hoping, like... Okay, so we, she has six movement, right? So she could come over here and do some stuff and then come back. I feel like I should stop doing that. Like, just just commit to one side, honestly. It doesn't matter that they're stunned like you can also I can also crush past them so I should probably just do that and then I can kill this guy and it won't really affect anything and then we can brace actually this guy's got 55 health can we punch him for free no we can't because then he'll die and then we'll be vulnerable and again, Alicia is just gonna like try and make the most of this side. At least uh, we've got some pretty good rain of arrows for once. Mm. That'll have to do. That's not bad. Sets up a nice tight volley here. Still some of them survived. Well, we're gonna use some power shots. Can we do another power shot? We can if I move over uh, three. So like that. So, oh wait, no, we can't shoot. And it won't be the story will be the same if I move around the corner. So I guess I'd have to move forward a bit. Let's move forward a bit. Nice. She got the crit. Perfect. Okay. Um, who hasn't gone? Rigoberto. Rigoberto, you're still in danger. But, you know, I like your moxie, kid. Uh, let's expend... Well, no. We'll, we'll do the normal thing. Try and make the most of our multi-hit without killing anything. Hit as many target. Oh, we killed something. God, that was actually awful. Okay, we'll 
do another this thing's got 93 health we do 152 with our bash so what we'll do is i'll try and kill as many things as i can with our magic missile and then we'll walk up and bash this thing yep we get some extra mana for that which is nice uh we can sword of demaculus something that didn't kill it which is not good i feel like we should just commit to killing something we did not kill it um the reason i did that instead of like using our ability on a on a brace is because we're actually pretty okay over here um I just need to like a moment like I just need to kill as many things as I can <sighs> so the only rough part honestly is that Rigoberto took quite a lot of damage and um Salem over here is uh, did I brace with them I did okay so Salem should be able to take some extra attacks yeah I figured there's gonna be a third one Honestly, I'm pretty content with the fact that we killed one of them. Okay, those are buffed. That's not good. Buffed again? Oh my god, those guys are like... Yeah, they can like make it all the way to the door. So Salem is taking damage. Um, well, geez, this is awful. Uh, I can't hit them with Sword of Demaculus. I can't hit them with anything, in fact. So our, our lad here is actually in very, like, a lot of danger. Because he can't break out of this. I'm going to have to try and help with Alicia. Let's just see if she can even make it to him. No, she can't. But she, she, we are going to have to move over with her. So let's um, do some attacks with her and then move over. Um, this is not bad with Jess. Jess is finally get, getting to do some stuff. I could do this all night long. We'll settle for not having to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this situation over here. Let's break out of it. I would love to be able to hit this harpy, but it's just just exactly in like the worst positioning ever. However, if she kills, no, that's uh, still not going to do it. I was I was hoping she could like move over here and kill this. Um, Harpy. Actually, she moves here. This is kind of a waste, but not really, I guess. We can use a crush. Doesn't kill it, but at least it does some damage. We could probably do some damage with Alicia. In fact, we can use a power shot on it. Oh, God. Missing with a power shot is so frustrating. All right. Definitely, we got to do some damage before we leave because we are leaving. Okay, good luck, Jess. Um, we're 100% uh, going to want to do some stuff over here. And uh, can we kill one more thing? We can. Blech. <sighs> yeah, I mean, we're, de we're just going to have to... We'll brace first of all. And uh, I guess I'm just going to have to throw out some magic missiles on, like, whatever I can. Uh, all right, that's it for that. Rigoberto, how are you doing? Rigoberto has been powering through this whole wave without much help. And they uh, d definitely deserve some kind of metal. We killed something. That's not good.
kill these four guys move over uh we could just punch this lad but yeah let's punch him wait does that ca oh that cast costs an action point oh that's so stupid I, that's not free <laughs> only the bash is free damn it okay well i learned something all right we're gonna brace uh that is everyone's wait can we jump over no we can't it only jumps over obstacles it doesn't jump over zombies i know that you can upgrade it to jump over zombies but i've never been in a position where i would want to until now okay so second harpy second harpy on the next round okay that's good actually that's not good rigoberto is half dead or half alive depending on your outlook on life okay so this is one of the few times where rain of arrows might actually save a life because it's going to shoot all around without damaging our friend so he can finally get out now um let's break free of that and start doing some damage nice some good hits um yeah we'll just throw out some more stuff more harpies dead we're unstoppable oh i i, I assure you we are so screwed right now um all right so this is this is where things get a little tricky kind of feel like maybe moving back a bit with alicia might be a good idea like we could maybe do some stuff but i i feel like she needs to be able to hit some lads over here as well like these these guys good lord please do not miss again oh my god alicia you really need to get it together that is like almost all of your points spent wow wow that's not good Okay, so what we can do here is we're gonna come here and do a bash and hopefully create a nice very nice choke point yeah that'll actually do it and then what i'd like to do is come over here and do much the same except also kill a harpy while we're at it And then we're going to move back. I like how the everything is red now. We're just like, we're, we're, we're very, we're in a very dire position right now. Rigoberto, I feel for you right now, bud. Let's, um, let's go ahead and have you use your bash just right away. Just to get it out of the way. And we'll move back. We're going to use our magic missile and do some, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that actually. Let's use our magic missile first. Or maybe we'll move here. I don't know. Nothing's looking good right now. Okay, this is looking okay. Oh, don't get crits. Rigoberto, crits are bad for you, actually. Okay, that was good now now we move back i'm gonna kill one lad and then i'm gonna brace because i can't really afford not to he's like always in danger now so that is everyone having used their their stuff we've already like there's already some panic being generated per turn 
Yeah, I kind of figured something like that was going to happen. I might prioritize killing the harpy. Wait, there's more? Okay, Rigoberto, the good news is that we can use six magic missiles per turn on the Harpy because we know for sure we can't kill it. Right? Now you might say, well, yeah, but you're, you're spending all of your energy fighting the Harpy. I know. I, I know. Um pretty sure I'm pretty sure that Rigoberto is gonna die so I may as well do everything I can to kill the, the harpy uh, one more might actually do it if we got a crit but if I used our last point to brace it might be a bit more productive Actually, I noticed that there is actually kind of a safe space for him. Maybe, maybe we don't want him to be safe. Because the thing is that we need him to be able to hit the, the, the harpy. So I'll move there and I'll brace and I'll hope that he survives so that we can kill the harpy on the next turn. Okay. Um, if we could possibly slow the waves down a little bit here that would be ideal yes i am talking about um doing some more bashes to create choke points okay if i move like here We could do another bash and at the very yeah it's stunned good at the very least these guys have to move a little bit farther to get stuff done if i could kill this guy maybe yeah i can reach this guy over here oh but i don't have enough to, to do anything now okay now alicia keeps getting like her damage robbed from her which really sucks not a huge fan of that Let's just try and do some stuff with uh, Salem. Kill some stuff that need to be killed. I mean, it all they all need to be killed, but... And I'm, I'm going to brace if I can. Not that... I, I mean, they're more important to keep people to keep alive than Salem. Although, you know, Salem killed a harpy. He's, he's not, uh, not hopeless. He's not even harpless. Yeah, I know. Can we kill those lads? If we move there, we should be able to kill that guy. Nice. Kill this guy. Oh, okay. We'll need one more. But honestly, we should rain of arrows if we can. If we have like a decent rain of arrows. Four isn't terrible, honestly. And we still have uh, enough. We can we can try and kill this guy. There we go. Um, so that's gonna be it. This side's looking good. Um, this side, oh, this side not great. They're actually getting kind of like they're they're getting in there now. So what does the exclamation mark mean? Not sure uh, what what that's gonna do for us. We I think we are pretty close to killing the boss. Oh oh god. So that buff guaranteed that they got to Jess. Rigoberto is dead. Well. That is uh, kind of a worst case scenario for sure. Uh, 
Um, not sure. At this point, we might want to move over with Alicia because we, we do have a window where we can do that. We'll take some guys out on the on our way, but we need to we need to kill that harpy. We're gonna do damage. We did damage to our own wall with that. I didn't even go full power. Well, that's cool and all, but um, you know what? Let's do a reload and try and uh, kill these lads. Nice get fogged kill that guy nice no rigoberto i don't even know why i'm looking over there honestly okay we need to stun these guys as well I'm just trying to create walls out of monsters that was pretty good actually good turn with uh jess so only salem left salem can actually get through but before he does oh he has no more mana left uh oh that's uh that's not good we don't have enough um like he can only do sort of demacless four times per turn so you know actually you know what if we can transfer to alicia that'll buy her a little bit more movement and she can maybe kill something hey you know what i'll take it we're, <laughs> we're unstoppable i've never heard such like an understatement or overstatement oh an overstatement i've never heard such an overstatement in my life Okay. Ugh. Getting debuffed and also having a boss to fight is pretty rough. I I won't say that it's hopeless. Yet. It's pretty hopeless, but I won't say it. Oh, she can't reach with a power attack. Is there anything we could do? Well, you know what? We can transfer give her some more movement can she reach from here <sighs> really i think she no she doesn't have enough movement she can't reach okay well maybe we can kill it with a tight volley um yeah, I think we could actually do this with just like normal stuff. That's not bad. Wait, that's is that hitting? No, that's not hitting a, a wall. It's kind of hard to tell. I won't. I won't lie. Okay, we managed to kill the harpy. Thank God. Can we kill this guy? Nope. Um. Let's see if we can't that other harpy no that's fine okay so we're taking damage over here but that's fine i mean it's not but again you know it's, i'm gonna have to be cool with it uh let's let's do some damage i almost like did a transfer to one of these zombies oh man three attacks to kill that one dude I didn't even, I only just barely broke the armor of the archer. The archers are really tough. So they're going to get the, to the actual spell being performed. Um, move over and then can we do, that's a really nice bash. She's going to start taking some nasty damage, though, it must be said. So we'll, we'll brace her up against the wall, because then at least she's only getting hit from two things instead of uh, three. 
Okay, so third harpy coming in. You know, the nice thing about that is it actually buys us one turn of solace because we don't get debuffed and we don't get attacked. Like, we're, we're going to have to fight enemies and that's fine, but at least we don't have to deal with the debuffs. The debuffs really are a problem. I'm on a roll. Okay, if we can kill this guy... Yes, then we can move in here and then do another decent uh, bash. Good, 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 good. And actually, she can jump over this wall, and I think she should for her own survival. Um, Salem is just going to hit some stuff. If Salem can give a uh, transfer to, yeah, he can give transfer to, to Alicia. And Alicia is actually in a very good position here to do like the most damage she's been able to do in ages. This is pretty good. All right, let's let's uh, let's go with that. How much... She's, she is running out of mana. Taste my wrath. She I think she gained an extra ability point from that. We're definitely going to do a quick reload. We'll do another Reign of Arrows because there's really good opportunities for Reign of Arrows right now. My mana is almost depleted. Yeah, figured that was going to happen pretty soon. She can move over and kill. Oh, never mind. She's out of mana. Okay. Anyone else not use any skills? Okay. Salem has. Well, he could do another transfer. Can he do another transfer to Alicia? I don't think so. He could give it to uh, Jess. Actually, Jess is not completely worthless here because she can move here and do a crush past the wall. That's not terrible. Are we winning? That's the appropriate question. <laughs> that is really much more like tone accurate than we are unstoppable. <laughs> this is the last one. Pluck her like a chicken. Now, I think if we have everyone attacking her, we could probably kill her. This is going to be... This is going to get close, though. The wall is coming down. <laughs> Jess is going to be invaluable because um, she's going to maybe punch a, a hole through this whole thing. Um, I'm going to give a transfer to... Let's, let me just see this. Uh, Alicia's got nine movement. Maybe I should move her before I give her the transfer. So I'll move her. And then I'll give her the transfer. Oh, I can't. Uh, I, I can't reach her because I don't have line of sight. Can I reach her now? Nope. Okay. That's fine. We have to move over here anyway, so we'll give her a transfer. And then Jess, um, just like... Punch, punch through it. Uh, that's actually bad. She really needed to kill the one in front of her. Fatality. Finish off enemies that are almost dead. Okay, do that. I guess I haven't really made use of that skill until now. That's a dang shame because it's really good. Crush. Can she only do it once per turn? Limit per turn unlimited. Oh man, I, I really should have been using that more, shouldn't I? Um, okay, I sh should be able to reach the Harpy with a crush at the very least. I'm pr ah, it's hard to tell again. I think that this crush will reach her. But I, should I use it? I feel like there's 
better things to use that on, but I'm not sure. We can actually reach it with sort of the Maclis. So let's let's warm her up a bit. Can we reach her? We can't reach her with Ulysses. Or sorry, Ulysses? Alicia. <laughs> Unless we can, can we? Really hard to tell again. Ah, we can with a rain of arrows. It's really not what we want, but we can quick reload to maybe do some more damage to her. <laughs> Does anyone have a mana potion? Um, yeah, I really wish she could move even an inch closer. Jess, uh, Jess is going to crush and hopefully she survives, but I really don't give, I, I don't give her good odds. Yeah, she's taking an attack from the Harpy directly and then from a bunch of mutants. I think she's alive. She is alive. Okay, just just wail on on it. Uh, 147 to 171. Yeah, so it's it's not worth doing bashes. It's worth using a, a an actual stomp. So I'll use two of them. Actually, the thing is, is that it uses two abilities. It might actually be better to do bashes because then we can dedicate two to her. Have Salem kill it. Yo, so I'm really hoping that means we don't have to fight everything else. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. And I thought the harpies didn't survive the mist. They were nice before. Good job. I thought we wouldn't survive the harpies. Glad I was wrong. Now let's see if the mist survives this. And if I do, an overwhelming surge of power is coming. Right? Now! Sun dawns on the broken hills of Gildenberg. The first rays of light dance on bloody feathers. But today, a beacon of light clears the violet mass. The haven bathes in reassuring radiance. The seal is destroyed. The remnants of civilization can fight with renewed hope. The last spell is one step closer. That's it. We're saved. We did it, right? Right? Not yet. We've done our part. Now we have to wait for the other havens to break their seals. Are you kidding me? Victory. 3,500 tainted essence, making for a total of 7,000. Unlocks Apocalypse. Enemies have plus 20% health. Plus zero percent tainted essence. Why is this a good thing? And why would we want it? Uh, Jess got 200 kills. Alicia 272. Salem 31, which is honestly impressive for his first day. And Rigoberto 204. 
pour one out for Rigoberto. A big, big F's in comments for sure. So uh, I'm really glad that it worked that way because like I was right to double, triple down, put bet it all on black as it were, you know, put it all on defeating the harpy and not so much on uh, cleaning up or, or doing um, like uh, individual like cleanup. I, I don't know. I, I was right to, to focus on the harpies over the mutants really is all I'm trying to say and uh, that worked out well Welcome to the oraculum commander victory is mine. You really taught these feathered vermin to behave in you. I like your methods dear I see artistic flair with blood and guts for paint weapons for brushes and ruins as your canvas not to mention their essence is absolutely delicious. I shall thank you for this delicacy. Let's just continue this little understanding we have. As a token of goodwill, I will answer your next question truthfully. Choose well. Will you sell your tainted essence? Oh, I guess the question comes the next time I talk to her, maybe? Ah, ballistas. Yes. Absolutely. Um, armor maker. A new structure can now be built in your haven. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to upgrade some of these. These are all omens. No, they're not omens. I don't think they are anyway. Shop reroll. You can now reroll the shop offered in the, sh uh, in the, the items offered in the shop for a price. That's not bad. Armor, uh, pl uh, heroes have plus 10 armor. This is really good. I'm actually going to prioritize that. Oh, a new omen. A new omen to diversify your strengths. All heroes have plus 10% damage. That's really nice. New omen. Uh, all heroes have plus 40 armor. I actually really like this, and I'm going to get the omen of furiness. I think that would be fun. New omen. All heroes have plus 8% critical. Not nearly as interesting to me. So I have uh, a little bit left to spend, and I'd like to throw it at... Let's throw it at health. Plus 15 uh, health seems like a nice one. I won't worry about the shop reroll, at least not for now. Rejoice, O oh earth and sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. We have won! Thy heroic deeds are worthy of praise, my child. Many shall see another day, thanks to thy courage. I can foretell that wicked beasts shall fall again and again under the holy blades of thy soldiers. Thy quest has only begun, not only in this orb, but also in its myriad echoes. Magical flows have shifted, yet I feel another haven is in dire need of thy helpful hand. Oof. Lakeberg. It has come to our attention that another haven is also trying their best to break the seal. Looks like Lakeberg could uh, do with your help. Break the seal in Gildenberg. So that's a reward is the, the new town. Uh, heroes have additional perk collections in their perk tree. And we've unlocked hammer variations, wand variations, pants variations, lone wolf set. Heroes uh, have a hero take a thousand total damage. New items can now appear in your uh, in your shops. New upgrade to improve the inns. Um, increase your hero capacity by one. Very nice. Oh wait, we oh we need to survive night six in Lakeburg. Okay, we've done it. Gildenberg is no more, and we're off to. Uh, to Lakeburg. So we can we can uh, take it on again with Apocalypse. I don't know why I would want to do that, to be honest. Seems to me uh, our tutorial area kind of kind of is is not looking good. We, we probably would want to, I don't know, go back to it. I'm not talking like from a mechanical standpoint. I'm talking about from like a story standpoint. It's like, yeah, I mean, we I don't know how many times we have to break the seal 
but you know so we can actually do anything oh i see so if we do this with enemies have 20 percent health we gain more essence i think i'd rather not and apparently i get up to five omens which is really good because i just got some new omens we definitely want to take those um Tainted essence gains are increased by 10%. I actually don't think I would want that. I want all the stuff that's going to actually help me. We can go boundless mode, but that doesn't uh, seem like a good idea. Then we're in like no man's territory in terms of like the difficulty of the game. Okay, so I am going to start this, but I am also going to end this. This is the end of the episode. We'll take a quick look at our town and see if maybe we can uh, do a little bit of startup prep. But um, that is pretty much going to do it for this episode. We'll see what we have. So I'm seeing um, Swampland. I'm thinking maybe our boss is going to be a frog. That is uh, my guess. And also, um, so that the nice thing about the Harpy is that we only had three sides to worry about. Now we have all four while the Swampland is only taking a corner. So that sucks. Who do we have though? We have an archer, we have a hammer warrior, and we have a, a book spell user. So that should be kind of fun. Uh, and we have the usual only two workers to work with. So uh, I don't even think we get to use them yet. Do we not? We only have a deployment phase. We don't have a, uh, we don't have anything else. And we don't even get to, f oh, okay, break the seal. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve nights. I assume that means we have to survive twelve nights before we see the boss. So this is going to be a fairly long, it'll be a few episodes before we see uh, the end of Lakeburg. But uh, anyway, I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, uh, I really appreciate it if you do. And I'll see you guys next time. And we'll see uh, how how the first wave of Lakeburg goes. Probably well. We, we, I don't think anything will go wrong in the first night. But you never know. Take it easy.